I would have never looked at this stuff maybe like six months ago, so character development. Alexis Sunshine 83, it's always sunny here. Hey Sunshiners, Alexis Sunshine 83 here. Hello, hello, happy sunny day. What is up? Today's video, we are going to the thrift store and basically my goal for today is to really look for color. I wanna find funky prints, funky pieces, especially now that it is properly summer, although it is quite cloudy today. Um, But now that it is a new month, I was looking at my Pinterest from last month and just realized how many good like clothing pieces and just like things that I pinned that I'm feeling super inspired by. And especially with getting my hair back to blonde, I kind of felt like, oh gosh, like what goes with my hair now? Do I dress the same? Like, I don't know. I kind of feel like I need a little bit of a makeover as well. This trip is going to probably be all over the place. It's probably gonna be a little bit chaotic. I am open to honestly also finding like Y2K I know who am I? Like Y2K pieces that make sense for me, not kind of like the mystery box that I did. All those pieces were fun, but I think trying to find trends within Y2K that make sense again for me is kind of key. And I just kind of want to inspire also any of you that have been into kind of like a similar style or even just feel almost in a style rut, how to kind of refresh yourself. And yeah, we are gonna go into the thrift store. They just opened. Fingers crossed we find some good gems. <laughs> So I think I am gonna go first to the tops. I kind of like briefly looked at them and there definitely are some fun colors and patterns. And one thing I do wanna keep like note in my head is just because something has a fucking pattern doesn't make it cute. I think sometimes I'm like, oh, like it's really similar to this, but the actual style top I don't like. It's more like the pattern. So I'm going to try to keep that in mind. Also, I'm in the capris, which like, random fact, I honestly hate capris. I do not understand their purpose. Just wear short or a pant. Does anyone else remember when these like cutout tops were so popular? I was obsessed. See, I like the idea of this. It's like a bodysuit and it's cute, but also I don't think I would actually get that much wear out of it. It's actually really cute. I mean, I literally talked about how I want to get more into pattern and like colors and it's literally just a plain green crop top, but oh well. I feel like if I could try this on, I'd be like, oh, this top is cute because I really like the pattern. I mean, I don't love the pattern, but I think the pattern's interesting. I don't know how it would wear. Maybe I'll just put it in my cart for right now. I feel like I've seen this pattern a lot on my Pinterest. I don't really like this like peplum tie top. I feel like I definitely would have worn this in uh, elementary or middle school. I like the little square neck. Again, this is a top where I feel like somebody could rock it so well for kind of like a modern day take on like Y2K. It's not really Y2K. Honestly, it reminds me again what I would have worn in like middle school. Yeah, again, I feel like these types of tops are so popular right now, but I don't know. Like I'm just, I either want it cropped or be able to tuck something in. Again, I feel like somebody would like totally rock this. Is it a dress? I don't know, I really like the pattern though, but I just, ah, I'm so conflicted because some of them I'm like, yes, this is something that I've kind of pinned. So should I buy it? I don't know. I really want to like figure out if I actually would wear it, you know? We'll put it in the cart. Honestly, I'm really surprised I'm finding this stuff because I live in like a suburban town. I mean, like nobody like, would honestly wear these pants usually. I mean, if you live in LA or something, wearing funky clothes is pretty like common, but in a suburban town, not as common. So I'm really surprised that I'm able to find a lot of these patterns at the thrift store. But honestly, I'm not just because I would have never looked at this stuff maybe like six months ago. So character development. I love this pattern. Like I love a good like plant pattern item. I just don't really like the style at all. Okay, this really reminds me of Y2K, like with the like sparkles. I like the other purple one better. These I feel like are coming back in style. Like, I don't really like it on the side, maybe in the middle or something. It's a little bit too neon for me, but I like this top. I was so tempted about this one because look at the pattern, but it's like this weird peplum thing. Feels like a crop top, maybe. Okay, this is 100% something I would have worn in middle school during my same kid days where I would wear like skinny jeans with it, even though it's basically like a dress. And also this one. 
Okay, I'm taking a break from the shirts, which honestly, I'm really surprised. I grabbed some things, you'll see later, but I'm now in the skirts, and I found this skirt that is from David's Bridal, and I just really don't know, but I see like a magical outfit being put together. I, I don't know if I'm gonna get it, but like there's just something so whimsical about it. Is it a crop top? Like, it's so short. Would you believe it, friends? I forgot my measuring tape. Of course I did. Well, I'm in the pants. I don't know if I'm gonna get anything because I don't have a measuring tape. You know, I don't know how I ended up here because I was in the pants, but I somehow did into the bed sheets. And oh my goodness, if we had like not a king bed, like a, a double, which I don't know why John and I would have a double bed, I would definitely get this, this cute little Winnie the Pooh bed sheet. It's so cute. Okay, we're back on track. We are in the button ups or like the like short sleeve blouses and honestly ever since my awakening into liking collared shirts and like button up I am so down for them and I really want to find some more just easy ones just for when it's really hot outside and I just can't be bothered <laughs> does anyone remember when everyone was obsessed with black and white marble oh gosh I was definitely one of those people like it is an interesting top would it actually be cute on I don't know Oh my gosh. Okay, it's quite busy, so that's why I haven't been able to film a little bit more, but I went to the swim section. Here's kind of some of the pieces um, that I was kind of looking at. Honestly, I went into it because I've been watching like so many thrifters be like, go into the swim, go into the swim, and I really was like, eh, I don't know, but then I found like a swim top on ThreadUp that was so cute that literally it looks like all of the girls on Pinterest, but it's a bathing suit, but like a top. And honestly, with how sweaty I am, I might as well wear a bathing suit. Anyway, went to the swim, actually found a lot of pieces. I'm not gonna get all of them, uh, but I will show you kind of like in a sec. But yeah, very good time. I think I'm gonna go into the dresses next, but honestly, this is, wow. This is probably one of my best thrift trips. Dresses wise, I'm not really like, fully looking for dresses and just kind of open and just want to look at the section um but i would say probably like funky colors maybe kind of like hawaiian themed or something i would have worn to go into hawaii or just like really beachy you know this is what my cart looks like like it is full to the brim i'm definitely not going to buy everything i wanted to like put stuff in my cart and then as I've been doing, talk you through what I'm gonna get, what I'm not gonna get, why I'm not gonna get it. So here's the first one. I love, love, love the pattern. I don't think I'm gonna get it because there's another red one in the basket that I'm gonna show you in a sec that I think I love like more because the silhouette of the top isn't my favorite. It would be $16.99 and it's from the Hawaiian original. Yeah, I'm gonna say no to this and put it back. I am gonna get this one. It's like a black and blue one. It just seems like such an easy like throw on dress um, if I'm going to the beach or the pool or something like that. This was just one of the bathing suit tops I wanted to show you that you can find in the bathing suit that like, I mean, this definitely does look like a bathing suit, so it's not really the best like, you know, show and tell type of thing. But I'm gonna say no to this because I, it's a little bit too colorful for me. This one, I don't know. It's $3.49. I really don't know. I'm gonna say maybe for right now. I don't think I'm gonna get it because I think it's a little bit too long for my liking, but it is such a beautiful dress. We then have this dress, which is so just like, doesn't make any sense. And I think I would get it if it was maybe just the first layer because there's like a double layer just because I've always wanted a dress kind of with this type of silhouette for some reason. I could just like cut it, but I don't know. I'm gonna say no. It is originally from Jessica Howard. This beautiful lemon like suit laser is so pretty. I think it's just a little bit too preppy for my personal style. These two I just found randomly in a rack. Somebody must have like just put it in a random space. This is kind of like a mint green like tank top. I'm gonna say no though because I don't really like that it's not cropped. And then this one is originally from Shein. I do really like the like silhouette of it but the material kind of feels like a bathing suit top so I don't know. I just don't think it would honestly last that long. I'm really surprised about this top because I think I am gonna get it. It's this sparkly like purple pink 
button up it's a maybe these two tops i just figured i don't have too much to say about them except for no i'm not gonna get them i'd pick them up when i was kind of thinking of the floral like hawaiian style beachy look but no and no i picked this up solely just to show you it like is it a dress is it a top i don't even know this i actually am gonna buy for myself it's a one-piece bathing suit personally i don't really mind like used bathing suits i did an entire like thrifting bathing suits video like two years ago i will have it linked but this is so cute this one i don't think i'm gonna get just because i don't really like the straps they don't have a like adjustment and i just feel like they're gonna be too long but i thought that it was really pretty i really like the pattern of it this one this one's okay it's like a baby suit top i'm gonna say no this one i don't know i feel like it would be so cute just with some jeans but it's like a built-in vest with the top it has like little shoulder pads oh i don't know i think realistically because of the silhouette i wouldn't wear it so we'll say no to that this one was just one that i wanted to show just for fun little sparkly one this skirt i honestly i i won't get wear out of it it's a really fun concept and i think if I tried it on I would maybe like talk myself into it but I'm gonna say no this top like I don't know why I like it I feel like it's not really my style but I kind of like the 70s vibe of it so I think I actually am gonna get it this one's another one where I really like the pattern and I think it's a cool top but I would have to see what it would kind of like fit like so it's going to be a no it's just the little like Cross, I don't know, maybe it's because I don't really have big poofs or I just feel like they look so weird because I feel like they're supposed to show cleavage but like I don't have any cleavage to show. Oh, this is the dress that I am going to get. Honestly, I feel like the concept was there but I, after going through everything, this like literally has no place in this video compared to all the other colorful stuff. This one I just picked up to show because it is so beautiful, all of these little like sparkles. It's actually really, really heavy and I think if I was a, well, I am a sparkly person. I just, I feel like I wouldn't give it the life it deserves of being worn all the time and then this one i put my cart to kind of think about and i'm just i'm not a like brown colored top type of person so i'm gonna say no to that okay i'm gonna think about the other stuff that i said maybe about and also put back everything that i had said no to <laughs> Alrighty, so I got it all here. I did have a 20% off discount. It ended up coming to like $51. It was originally supposed to be like $64, so that's pretty good. I forgot my reusable bag, unfortunately. Literally this morning, I forgot my measuring tape, my reusable bag. I also forgot my mask, like my usual mask, so that's why I'm wearing this one. But yeah, that's okay. I am going to head home, wash everything, and then do the little try-on haul. Alrighty, it is the next day. I have cleaned everything and look at how freaking colorful this haul is. So the first one was $7.99 and you need a little bit of imagination with me um, just because it's, oh wow, it's very outside my comfort zone. This sweater wrist top combo. I've said it I think before where I'm not like super into 70s style. I think it's mainly because most of the time that I see, I guess like 70s style type of outfit, it's very like brown and kind of like deep mustard and I personally I don't know I just feel like I don't look the best in brown colored I love like brown accessories but deep chocolate brown or even sometimes tan I just feel like look a little bit off on me so I've always kind of like avoided 70s style but this I mean I don't think it's necessarily 70s style but it does give me kind of that vibe and I just felt like it was such a unique piece I do wish I had some like flare pants I am on the hunt for a thrifted pair of flared jeans it's been very difficult to find especially because most of them are low rise or mid rise and you know I'm just a high rise gal so I'm still working on that but once I do I feel like it will go really perfect with this this next one was three dollars and 49 cents it's from INC the reason why I ended up getting it is because it does have a little bit of a square neck which obviously I really enjoy I really like the sleeves as well and then the material is quite thin so I feel like this is actually a perfect summer top kind of reminds me of something my mom would wear she totally is into these types of patterns. So, I mean, she was the OG iconic fashionista of these funky prints. I'm just saying it, you heard it here. This one was $5.99 and I just fell in love with the pattern. I feel like this kind of red and white is really, I mean, I don't know if it's actually popular on Pinterest or like in general, popular on my Pinterest. And I really like it. I'm usually not a super fan of red, but I think having this red and white really like tones it down. It makes it more like palatable. 
for me personally as somebody that doesn't like overly love red. Oh, and then it is originally from Tiki Palm. And of course, pairing perfectly with that dress is this dress, which is originally from Royal Creations. It was $5.99 and it's basically like almost the same pattern, but in blue and white. And I would say the last one was a little bit more of that beach cover up, whereas this one I feel like is a little bit more like you would wear just like casually because it has like a zipper on the back. And I just kind of wanted to find more dresses because that is something where most of my dresses are basically slip dresses. So the material isn't that great during summertime. Like I said in my last video, like I sweat a lot. And so you see it on those types of dresses more, whereas something like this, it isn't as like noticeable. Next, I actually have another dress. Uh, this one was $7.99 and the brand is Ruby and it is honestly just such a funky piece. I am absolutely obsessed with it. It does kind of have like a v-neck chest area, which I'm usually not in love with, but I feel like this is such an easy, like silky dress that it'll be fine. And I just love the silhouette of this. These types of funky dresses I think are so fun because they look amazing just with your hair up and it's a halter. So when it's really hot and you just don't wanna like be bothered, you just throw this on. I really like the pattern of this and it definitely, again, was super outside of my comfort zone but when I saw it, I was like, I I have to get this. And the last dress I got was originally $11.99. It is originally from Robbie B. And you guys saw in the like thrifting portion that I said I wasn't going to get it. But when I was walking to put it back into the dress section, I was like, I just feel like I, I need to get this. It is this beautiful floral like maxi dress. I just felt like this is such an easy everyday type of dress. You literally can pair it with anything. You don't have to put it in that much effort. Then we have a button up, which doesn't really seem like summery. It is originally from Venezia jeans. It was, I think $7.99. And it is this sparkly purple, like square button up. It is so funky. It is so fun. When I saw it, I kind of thought, okay, maybe I'll put it with a white tank top, leave it unbuttoned. It could be a nice, just kind of like throw on accessory that isn't going to make you overheat. And it kind of has like a sparkle to it. It, which I am definitely down for. And then I ended up getting a bathing suit, which was $7.99. And I love this so much. Now I have not tried it on yet. So I'll put on the like try on portion thing if it does fit. I mean, I think it will fit. It isn't a medium and it is just such a cute little one piece. I just absolutely love this like little ruffle detail. I feel like this is honestly one of my favorite bathing suits and it was thrifted, which is amazing. I mean, it originally had the tag on there from the original brand. So I don't know if anybody wore it in the pool. Um, it didn't have any like imperfections on it or anything. And I disinfected it. I washed it and it seems like good. I now definitely feel like I am good for summertime, which is good because it's going up to over a hundred degrees next week. And I'm just really excited about the funky prints I got and just like funky prints in general. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and if you like thrifting videos and secondhand fashion, then make sure to subscribe right down below and hit the little bell to be notified every time I make a new video. And also don't forget to follow me on Instagram, alexsunshine83 to keep up to date with me during the week. I will see you guys in my next video. I hope you have a super sunny day. Enjoy life, be happy, and I love you lots. Bye.